Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be taking the Eushin Razer 250 Pro and flashing it to the latest Betaflight 3.1.7 and we'll set it up, configure it, and we'll give it a fly. Now these were the settings that I used to successfully flash Betaflight to the uh, SB Racing F3 board. Uh, some other settings may or may not work. However, beware that if you have the incorrect settings and it does not flash then your board will be uh, be stuck and you'll need to uh, instigate DFU mode to um, basically get to get to um, uh, short the bootloader pads and instigate DFU mode to flash it so be aware of that so just try and use those settings up there basically I ticked every every box and it finally flashed if you um, happen to brick it then you're going to need to get to the bootloader pads and it'll show you a picture here of what that looks like and where it is on the board. It's not that hard, you just have to take the top off and then uh, uh, you have to short the two bootloader pads while powering on the board or plugging in your USB port and then it will uh, be in DFU mode and you should be able to flash it at that point. Okay, so once you've uh, successfully flashed Betaflight to um, the board uh, we'll go ahead and I'll connect and I'll show you the settings that I put in here. Um, obviously I'm not using a CO receiver, I'm still using the PWM receiver that I was uh, connected to it, so there's nothing here on the, under ports. This is the config I'm using. The um, motors and ESCs are pretty good, actually the ESCs are pretty nice. And uh, put a little screenshot here of what the BL Heli configurator look like. It's running the latest version 16.6. And uh, the ECs, as um, uh, as I flew them, felt very, very smooth um, under DSHOT 600. Under the clean flight, it was running one shot 125, and um, I didn't think that it felt nearly as good as it did under under beta flight and DSHOT 600. I'm obviously using a PWM receiver here. These are my settings for the battery voltage. Um, I did not really go high on the gyro and PID loop because the uh, flex in the frame and I just was a little bit concerned that it was going to cause some issues with um, oscillations. I didn't. I ran with uh, 1 and 2 kilohertz with the accelerometer on and it seemed to be fine. And I have uh, air mode on because I like to run air mode. Um, I did test fail safe and it was working. Um, so you know, obviously you want to do that with the props off. These are the um, PIDs I'm using and uh, these are basically pretty close to the uh, stock PIDs for Betaflight 3.1.7. Um, if there's interest in a tuning video for this let me know in the comments below. Um, doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of interest in this model so I'm probably not going to spend the time on a tuning video. I may tweak these settings for uh, a future mod if I'm going to be doing any future mods, but this is what I'm using for this flight. Uh, because I'm using a PWM receiver, I'm using a little bit larger um, RC deadband and yaw deadband because there's a little bit more jitter in the sticks. And that's pretty much all my settings. Um, go ahead and I'll, I'll roll the uh, flight footage for you. It's actually pretty smooth. I put the uh, Mobius Mini on top of the camera mount and with a little bit of an angle and um, you'll see that it uh, there's actually it, the, the camera mount actually dampens a lot of the jello there's still jello in the FPV footage and I think that I could alleviate that by perhaps putting some foam under the the mounting bracket that the camera is connected to and um, that might help I'm, I might do that for a future video let me know if you guys are interested in that but other than that, I'm probably not going to be doing any more videos on this model unless you guys um, say something in the comments below and definitely let me know in the comments below if there's something you want to see. If not, I'm going to be moving on to some other videos.